Hi everyone, this is Alberto again and it's good to have you back for another movie tutorial. Today, we're going to continue on our previous video, where we wrote a smart contract in Solidity and a compile script in JavaScript. So now, we will code together the deploy script and a few other files to interact with your smart contract once deployed on Moonbeam. Make sure you've watched our tutorial and set it up a local node. And with that, let's get started. So before we go into coding, let's review the file structure once again. Today, we're going to go over these files. First, we'll write the deploy script to, you guessed it, deploy the contract. Next, we'll code our interaction scripts to get the numbers stored in the contract, increment its value, or reset it to zero. Starting with the deploy script, I have pre-filled it with information you can check from our previous Web3 transaction tutorial. So first, let's load our compile contract from our compile.js script. Then, we can extract from it the bytecode located inside the EVM object. We will also need the ABI. Inside our asynchronous deploy function, let's create a new instance of our contract. This allows us to interact with the contract as if it was a JavaScript object. We need to pass in the ABI we just defined. Next, let's create the incrementer transaction. And for that, we're going to use the deploy method of our incrementer contract. Here, we have to pass in as a data field the bytecode and as the arguments, the input of our constructor function. Then, in the sign transaction method, we need to provide the encoded AVI of the object we just created as a data field. And just like that, we have a deployment file ready. I'm gonna add a couple of console logs that will help us visualize the deployment process. And there you go. Let's head back to the terminal. With the node running, I'm gonna go ahead to the contracts folder and use node to run our deploy.js script. We will see that the contract was deployed at a specific address that we need to copy for the next files. Let's move to our first interaction function, which is the get.js file. The first thing we have to do is import the ABI from our compile script. Next, down here, let's define the contract address and paste the value that we just copied. And now, as before, we have to create a local instance of our incrementary contract. But this time we have to pass in not only the ABI, but also the contract address. You can do this either inside or outside of the asynchronous function. It really does not matter. Then, inside the function, we can call a method with the same name as our variable, as we define it as public in the contract. We can save its value in this constant we define as data. And we have our get.js file. As before, I'm going to add some locks so we can print the value in the terminal. Next is the increment.js file. You can see by now that the file structure looks quite similar. But we have to add the value that we want to increment the store number by. With a local instance of our contract created, we can use the increment method and pass in the value we just defined. You can also encode this in here and pass in the encoded function compared to what we did before. So down here in the transaction, we need to add the to address, which is the contracts, and the data, which is just what we encoded. And we're done with the increment.js file. If you're wondering what happened to the console logs, here they are. Lastly, in the reset.js file, we only need to change the method that we're calling, as you can see here. Let's test everything out in the terminal. First, we'll use the get.js script to check the current value stored in the contract. Then, let's run increment.js to increase its value by 3, for example. Once the transaction is deployed, we can run again get.js to check its new value. Finally, we can execute reset.js to set the value to zero, and once again verify it with the getter function. And that is it. You have made it and managed to write, compile, 
and deploy a smart contract to your local movie node using the Web3 library and JavaScript. As always, feel free to join our Element Room, contact us in Telegram, and visit our website, moonbeam.network. Stay tuned for more tutorials, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.